Good morning, Kingsgate. Uh, I hope you are well. It's great to have you with us this morning. Uh, if you're new to us this morning, this is the first time that you've joined our live stream, you are super welcome. Uh, please do uh, participate the best you can. Uh, enjoy what we're, we're, we're doing this morning together as a family. Um, in a moment, I'm going to hand over to Rayel, who's going to lead us in worship. But just to lead us into that, I just uh, wanted to share a little passage with you. Uh, I was reading this morning from the end of the book of Job. Now, those of you who know the story of Job know that he, he was he had a really, really tough time. It's hard to imagine a tougher time, really. But this is how he ended uh, towards the end of his book, he says this, I know that you can do all things. No plan of yours can be thwarted. You asked, who is this that obscures my counsel without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. You said, listen now and I will speak. I will question you and you shall answer me. My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. It sounds a strange way to start worship, doesn't it? But actually, if we look at what Job is really saying here, he's saying that through his trials he discovered a God who could not be thwarted, whose plans nothing could stop. He discovered a God whose wisdom was so much greater than Job's and ours that actually it can be relied on. And actually, most importantly, he started his journey knowing about God. He finished it knowing him. And actually it led him to a place of repentance and wanting to fall on his knees in worship before his God. And actually this morning as we worship, can I encourage you that actually whether you're having a great time at the moment, whether you're having a really tough time, the same is true for us, all of us. God is sovereign. No circumstance can get in the way uh, of him fulfilling his purposes in our lives. He is wise, he knows best, even if we don't understand. And that actually we have the privilege of being able to know God, not just know about him. So can I encourage you uh, during these next uh, few minutes as Rael leads us to really give yourself to worshiping the true God. Rael, please lead us. Good morning. Okay, so we're gonna start with strength will rise. We wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength arises, we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. You reign forever, our hope, our strong delight. Oh, we 
Yeah, 
the splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice, he wraps himself in light, in darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. H to H. In H to H. And time is in his hands Beginning and the end Beginning and the end The God had three in one You are Father, Spirit, Son The Lion and the Lamb The Lion and the church family hope you're keeping well I just wanted to share with you three new ways uh, that we've introduced to enable you to donate to the work here at Kingsgate uh, the first method is using the church suite app on your mobile phone or on your tablet um, once you log on under the menu options you'll now see a new section called my giving uh, there's a donate button under there click on the button and follow the instructions uh, you can set up a regular payment or you can set up uh, a one-off payment. The choice is yours. Uh, the second way is by text message. Um, instructions of how to do that will appear across the bottom of the screen. But again, really, really simple, really easy to follow. And you can set up uh, a regular payment or one-off payment through that method. And then the third way is on our website. We've introduced a new online donation form. Um, really super simple for you to complete populate the details and just send it through. Three new ways that make it as simple for you as possible. 
Um, but if you already give through Virgin Money Giving or by standing order or bank transfer, you don't need to worry. Those methods are still absolutely fine and you don't need to change them at all. These are three new ways that we've introduced to make it simpler for you. If you've got any questions or there's anything that you're uncertain of, please don't hesitate to email the office at hello at wearekingsgate.org and uh, somebody will get back to you and help you through. I hope that's okay. Take care. God bless. Thank you to Rael and the band for leading us so well in worship. I hope it stirred your heart. And thank you to Patrick for his informative video on giving. Um, before I hand over to Adam, who's going to bring the word to us, uh, a couple of notices and encouragements for you. Um, first of all, it is time for the offering. Um, thank you so much to all of you who give by uh, standing order. Uh, if you're new to Kingsgate and you're interested in the whole area of giving and you've got some questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Send us an email, uh, hello at wearekingsgate.org and we will be in touch with you and can just explain a little bit more about what we do. Obviously, you can still get through the Virgin Money app, uh, the, the Virgin Money uh, on the app or on the website. And just to reiterate uh, what Patrick has been saying about the whole new world of texting, um, I just want to say that it's not the same as Red Nose Day or Children in Need. When you text, we don't take any money off your text. Actually, all that happens is, and you need to text us Kingsgate, capital letters, give, and a pound sign, um, to 07380-307-800. We will then send you a form. That's why you don't need to put a certain amount of money on that. We won't empty your bank account if you leave nothing after the pound sign. Obviously, once we've sent you the form, if you want us to empty your bank account, we would be most grateful and God would bless you enormously. So please, thank you so much for those uh, that give uh, already. God loves a cheerful giver. Um, and his mission here uh, is so great that actually we, we all need to contribute and be faithful with what he has given us. We have a new little gem for you for the summer. Most of you will already figured out that we're now in the middle of July, the summer holidays are coming around, schools are breaking up, sort of, somehow. I don't really understand how that works this year, um, with so many kids not being at school already. But actually we have a great opportunity to have a little bit more time um, to spend with one another. In coming out of this season of lockdown, as we're trying to find ways of being church together, uh, we want to continually encourage all of us to meet up with people. And so we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it. Um, so later this afternoon, uh, after this morning's meeting, uh, you will receive an email. And in that email will be a link where you can download a little card like this. And it's called the Kingsgate Summer Holiday Fellowship Card. It's a bit Christian, isn't it? We'll come up with a better title for next year, I promise. Essentially, there are six things on there, six ways of meeting up with people. Uh, you can go and have a picnic. Uh, you can have a barbecue. Maybe you're going to con you could contact somebody that you haven't spoken to since before lockdown, or or or, or give a treat to someone, a present maybe. Actually, we we want to encourage ways, uh, as many ways as possible, of people just connecting again. Essentially, it's a little bit of fun, so don't take it too seriously. But if you can tick off all these six boxes over August, come September when the coffee shops open again, you can come in and get yourself a free coffee. So it's kind of like Costas, but better. Because you don't just get free coffee, you also get to meet with a lot of people um, and build friendship. So can I encourage you, if by some chance you don't get the email or your email doesn't work, you can call in at the King Centre during the week and pick up your card. So do come and grab one of those uh, and that'll be great. Um, so I would now like to introduce you to this week's I'm Grateful video. I'm grateful to God for his sustaining power. At the beginning of lockdown, my GP told me that because I'm in the sheltered group, I would have to stay at home for at least 12 weeks, along with my husband, John, who has dementia. I was devastated because we go out every day. I said, I can't do it. And without God's help, I couldn't. But God, along with the prayers of many friends and family, 
enabled me to take one day at a time. There were highs and lows, but God saw me through. James 1 verses 2 to 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I can't say that I considered it pure joy, but God was faithful and helped me persevere. <laughs>